Hey, it's Randy here in the garage. Um, what I've got in the stand there is the uh, frame that I uh, brought home from the recent swap meet. I just finished breaking down a couple bikes. Um, one being the uh, roll fast that I built up for the swap meet, and then the other, the uh, drop bar Schwinn impact. Just trying to, to uh, kind of give us a little breathing room here in the garage, but this frame was sitting on the bench and I just can't help myself and want to go ahead and, uh, and build it up. So let's see what we can make out of it. Now, according to, I guess, the seller, uh, this was a 49 Monarch Super Deluxe. And I think we're gonna make just kind of a, hopefully a multi-speed clunker out of it. I've already checked to see if I had a seat post to fit, because if I didn't, then we wouldn't be able to do anything. Um, and I didn't, but uh, using a shim, I did was able to come up with something. Uh, 13 sixteenths seat post and then a shim to make it seven eighths. So first up, uh, I want to put in a fork and I think what I'll use is the fork that I put on that roll fast. These bearing cups are pretty crusty. I probably better replace them. Let's see what we got. There's some hits at cups. Oops. Okay, I think we'll go with these um, since they kind of match the patina on the bike. And then the inside there, they're not in too bad a shape. Now for bearings. Give these a try. I'll work on getting these cleaned up. That's not grabbing. Hmm. And like I said for the fork, I'm just going to use the one that I put on the uh, roll fast that we built up not too long ago. So like I said earlier, I want to make this uh, multi-speed with a rear derailleur. Now that will mean uh, widening the rear triangle to get the uh, rear uh, wheel to fit. That's always iffy. Okay, I've maxed out my uh, bolt or axle here. So let's take it out and see if that made any difference at all. Okay, and this is the wheel set I took off the Schwinn Impact. Maybe we'll just use it, but let's see how close we are here. Oh man, I think, I think I nailed it. If I just fix this bit, drop out here. I don't believe it. I think we may. I think we got lucky. Man, the wheel's even centered up. Now for tires. I'm not sure what. Uh... Man, these are. I don't. I'm pretty sure I don't want to use these. They're just more of a street tread.
Maybe I think these are a little too aggressive. I'm not sure what else I got. So I've got these continental cross kings. I think I'm gonna mount them to a rim and put them on there and see how I like the looks of these. I'm just using electrical tape as my rim strip. There we go. Boy, that's a toss up. I'm just not sure. This is just too much brown and tan. I guess I'll sit back and stare at it for a minute. Okay, I've decided to go with these cross kings. So I was mounting the, the rear to a rim. I'm trying to get the bead to set. Just totally blew out this slime tube. Okay, got the tire mounted. Now we're gonna need a free wheel for this. I think we'll go with this seven speed mega range, see if that'll work. Now for some uh, axle nuts and washers. See, while we're down here, I better be thinking about a deregulator, so let me look and see if I even have anything. I think we'll give this one a try. Okay, I want to convert this to a three-piece crank. So I'll put in one of those uh, adapters. And it looks like, uh, I think there's nothing, uh, no obstructions in the way of one of those adapters. So I'm gonna knock these cups out. I bet these cups are in pretty good. or a lip there, a ridge. So I don't know if this is gonna fit. Um, I've got this adapter that I've already ground down at one time. That's pretty rough. Let's see if I can make it work. Okay, after a lot of coercing and fine tuning, I think, I think I got this adapter in. 
get an idea of what the bottom bracket we need. 71. Let's just, this is 68, let's just see. Let's see what happens. Okay, with that crank set anyway, it looks like the chain line won't be too bad. Let me just stick another crank on there. And see what... Okay, I may have got ahead of myself here. I um, need to address the rear brakes. Um, see if I can use a method that I've done before, make a little adapter to put a caliber brake on there. So, Okay, let's see what we can do for brakes. Okay, now for an adapter. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, right here. Yeah, I did this before. Let's see if it'll uh, work on this. Okay, see if we get lucky and can thread this into the uh, whatever the fender hole screw mount thing there. I think that's gonna thread in. Boy, that'll be nice. Except we run out of threads. Um, push my lock and go one more. Oh, I hope that turns out to be just the right distance. Let's cross our fingers. Okay, I just switched out the pads all together. See if we can get this to work out. Okay, now for handlebars. And I think I'm just going to use these uh, bars that I took off that roll fast. Okay, I'm going to need to get these grips off so I can put the brake levers and the uh, shifter on there. I don't know if we're gonna reuse these grips or not. I really like these, but I don't know how well they'll work with a brake lever and shifter. Okay, we're gonna need a shift lever and we're just gonna go with friction because that's easy. And um, I think that's all I got anyway. Five. Okay, I'm 
cut it. Hmm. No, three speed won't work. Well, not sure what's in there. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we'll see if any of these will work. I think we're going with this shifter. It's kind of boring, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Now for some brake levers. Take a look at these. Oh yeah, that's where I hit myself with the hammer earlier. Um, got these big old diacon levers, but a little worried by the time I put them on, uh, there won't be any room for the shifter. They take up so much real estate on the bar. Okay, these are grips I picked up at the swap meet. I think we'll give them a try. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cabled up and then we'll check in after that. I'm going to paint these uh, cable ties so they'll blend in. Okay, I got everything all cabled up now for the chain. So for pedals, I don't think I have a big choice. In nine sixteenths. So we have a choice of a purple or black, and neither of these um, metal or plastic. And I don't like these. They just don't grip very well. And these do. So I guess we'll just go with black in the plastic. The Brooks looks right at home on there, but I kind of like the contrast of the, the modern saddle. So, let's stare at this one for a little bit.
Okay, I'm out here on what is the first, uh, I guess, test ride of, I guess what I'll refer to as the Monarch Clunker. Um, and it's riding good. Uh, shifts good. Brakes work decent. Now, that's all by my standards, of course. Um, but it seems to ride pretty nice. And contrary to what I normally do, I have not ridden it. I generally ride it first thing when it's finished. But um, for some reason, I sit on this for a while. So anyway, uh, let's do a little recap of what it's made of, if, if I can remember. Yeah, I believe the frame to be a, a 1949 Monarch Super Deluxe. Uh, I think that's what I was told. Now the fork is one I took off at recent Rollfast build, which is probably just uh, off a cheap Walmart cruiser. As for the wheels, just a cheap single wall, 26 inch aluminum bolt-on wheel set. As for the drivetrain, we got a seven-speed uh, Shimano Mega Range on here, but due to clearance issues, I'm not able to use the smallest cog, so we've just got a six-speed. This uh, derailleur, I don't TD1 is what it says. Got an Origin 8 uh, crank arms on there. They're 175 millimeter, uh, 39 tooth chainring and these uh, plastic flat pedals. One piece to three piece um, bottom bracket conversion using one of those adapters and then there's a, a sealed bottom bracket cartridge in there. And the drivetrain's shifted by just a generic uh, thumb friction shifter. The brakes, just caliper brakes front and rear. Operated by these Diacomp brake levers big brake levers. This seat is a giant seat and although I like the looks on here I may have to uh, swap that out for something with a little more cushion. Tires front and rear are these Continental Cross Kings. They're 26 by 2.2. The stem we got this top loading four bolt uh, BMX stem which holds these unknown handlebars. Um, they're steel, a little bit of rise, a little bit of sweep to them. The grips, um, just some cheap, really thin grips, which uh, one aspect I like of those is I've got, I think, kind of small hands and it enables me to get a better grip, but they have no cushion to them. So I still may swap those out for some Ori's or something with a little more cushion. It's clamped on a water bottle cage. And I think that's about everything. Again, really pleased with the way it rides. Um, Said I may experiment with the different saddle and grips, but other than that, I think it'll stay the same. And I think that does it for this build. So thanks for following along.